always looking for rest under the car. We're Tash and JB. Last year, we quit our jobs to pursue a dream. This year, it becomes a reality. We're moving to Costa Rica. The adventure is just beginning and we'd love for you to join us along the way. From building a new home in the jungle to finding some epic waves. Click that subscribe button to follow our adventure every Monday. Are you ready? Let's go. Cause I found my way. Morning everybody. Good morning. <laughs> um, we are in San Jose and we are going to go and find a car today. Finally. Yay. Last time we were here we actually really struggled. Um, we tried to buy a car about a few months ago and it's just an admin behind it and everything in Spanish. It was just a bit of an overwhelming experience. So what we've decided to do is hire a company who actually goes and shows us the, like six best cars. Um, According to what we are looking for. And so, our budget. So we already told him what we're looking for, the budget and the criteria. So he's in charge of doing some research and just showing us, showing us today the option. And then we're going to have to choose according to test drive and yeah. So hopefully by the end of the day today, we will have a car. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. That's the, that's the plan. <laughs> so yeah, we'll bring you along with us and stay tuned. So first up, we are supposed to meet the... Who? What's His the name? name is Russ. Russ. We're supposed to meet Russ, who is coming to fetch us to yes. start the exploration. So I guess we're going to go from... Spot one to spot two to spot three, car one, car two, car three, and we're gonna test them and we'll see how I'm it's so excited. And sorry if it is a bit noisy in the background, it is San Jose and it gets noisy here. Yeah, we so. are in the city, so <laughs> we can't control the noise. How do we get out? Well, we have a driver, and that's it, it's arrived, and we're going. Let's go. I would say that we don't have exactly what you what you really have in mind but in any case you also want to see the cars you're going to test drive uh, and it's going to vary sometimes it comes down to what do i see in this car that makes me feel really good about that car correct even though it wasn't something you had in mind correct sometimes it's just kind of price correct yeah. or sometimes it's kind of fits sometimes as you're looking at the car you might think of something Correct. that you hadn't really thought about and you go mm -hmm. oh this car is perfect you know for this x mm -hmm. reason mm -hmm. so that's why we don't try to in determine in advance really very much yeah. we know what you want to stay in what's your price range what characteristics you want and we'll just go see the cars so we just make it to the first place we're gonna see the car and see what we have what is it's the first car? Uh, Nissan Xterra. Ah, nice. Ooh, 2003. That's the song. Explain a little bit on tires. The highway tire is fuel economy mm -hmm. and highway driving and paved surfaces like rain. Or in this case, maybe a little bit for snow. The all-terrain tire is what you might put a proportion like 20% off-road and 80% on-road. Okay. So like it's 80% effective for the same things as a highway tire, but, you have a more but it has more on traction. There. So you have like 20% there. So these things you put a, a chemical on and they get really shiny and black and nice. So the is watching. But on, not on, on any engine, you don't really want to go in deeply and pressure wash yeah. around the electronics, right? So they won't do that. So you want to look at the place where you come and the shade around, like on the engine block. On these protective cover. Protective cover there. On the fuel academy. Yeah. How does it feel? Also, oh, it's a bit. Of, it's a heavy car. Oh, then this car is pretty old, so the tiring is not assisted. So it's pretty hard to turn and I'm worried about so about the fuel consumption because these things suck a lot of fuel and considering what's happening with the fuel prices it could be like a big budget for especially if we move a lot on the land and fall uh, in the uh, off-road so this is a good car but it may be a little bit expensive to <laughs> maintain and uh, and to 
fuel so direction car number two so we are to the second place and our is what we are looking for the chimney yeah it looks like pretty clean and it feels so much smaller now compared to the one we just looked at yeah I went for a big. You're be able to put all of our stuff inside you. So it has high clearance, also shorter, so it gets around even better than like the Xterra. You can see the type of suspension. It's not the old leaf spring. It's like uh, what they call a multi-link. Yeah. No. Always looking for rest can under the car. What's the thing about the short wheelbase? Oh, you can actually fit in it. Where's the kids? Uh? <laughs> this is the. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. I'm just turn we just finished the test drive the car looks really good it's like tire transmission turning quality four wheel we got nice tires super light on fuel so it's a little bit over our budget for the moment but we are going to try to negotiate a few options to try to fit in and so we just we basically really just need roof racks roof racks and then maybe a cover for the spare wheel because those covers yeah. get damaged quite quickly with the sun that would be good but like even the fact like it's got um tinted windows like just great you can't really see too much inside. That's great. Honestly, I will take it. So yeah, that was our tagging car, the Jimny. So this one is a bit of a budget, but so far it's filled a lot of boxes. So we maybe gonna bid one more and make a mine. I'm not sure if we even need to. Yeah, we'll see. Let's discuss what. Uh, let's see what they say about the option, price, and. So we thought we were gonna have a look at six cars, but after seeing this Jimny, we're actually really happy with it. And all of the other cars are um, older and you know obviously heavy on fuel. So and there is no other Jimny. So this is like a really good Jimny for the price range. And we have negotiated to have the roof racks included and the spare wheel cover. Yeah. Sorry guys, we're not going to go and look at another four cars, but I think it was a good example of how great Russ's research was. So day one is done. Yeah, we, we just got home. It was very quick uh, to find a car after second. The second was a, was a good. Second round yeah, was really after good. After all the other car for the same price range, was a bit cheaper. We're way too old and way too big. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Journey. It would have been like uh, like maybe it's a bit more expensive option, but the other cheaper option may end up being more expensive on the long term with maintenance issue. Like because the older the car, the mm. you know, and the fuel consumption. So I think in the middle long term is more or less a, a good option. So. Today is going to be the finalization, paper, contract, bank, payment, and we'll tomorrow. be good to go. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. We're meeting him tomorrow for nice and early to go to the bank. Yeah. Sort out the final yeah, things. Fin finances, details, see if we manage to get the manage to get the roof rack and the um, fuel yeah. option. So. It just saves us so much time. Yeah. Next so week. so far so good. Good morning, <laughs> this is the day two of buying a car in Costa Rica. Yes. So, what are we doing today? So, this morning we have to finalize the process, which is first going to the bank to transfer money, then going to the seller to sign the insurance and contract, and I then guess that's done. Then it's done, get the keys and drive. Sorted. So, ready? Action. Let's go. Our driver just arrived and. C'est parti! So one last check before going to the bank to be sure everything was fine from last night. They are putting up the bar, clean the car. But yeah, it looks it looks good. So I think it's time to to go pay. Let's go to the bank. So we made it to the commercial center direction. The bank. So I'm just coming out from the bank. We made the transfer. Uh, so everything went smoothly. So now we have to go back to the dealer to show him the proof of transfer. 
and sign the contract for the insurance and I think that should be fine. So a good thing to know to make the process easier according to your situation. If you can pay cash it's easier because now I had to go to the bank, made a transfer. So thanks God we have someone helping me to speak Spanish because you, it would have been difficult to deal with all of this in, with my level of Spanish. So good to know if you have cash it make your life a bit easier. How was your coffee while, while you were waiting for and me I doing the payment? I was abandoned, wasn't allowed in the bank. Um, that's good, that's nice. Just catching up on some emails. So we are back to come pick up our little Jimmy. <laughs> back from the bank. And they have put some... Racks on. Okay. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Sorry. 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 So well. But yeah, so we've just got insurance. We made sure all the paperwork is correct. I think we're good. Are we good? Have a done. Well new done. baby wow what a mission <laughs> i mean but if we had done that by ourselves it would have been wow. an absolute nightmare yeah, so i'm good. really happy that we used the Rust. lawyer the paper the admin it's not complicated but it's like everything once you know and when you speak the language it's easy but when you don't know and you don't speak spanish it's like a bit overwhelming yeah even if you just buy your car so so thank you so much russ if you're watching this video and we will link all of his details below and if you ever want to come buy a car in Costa Rica, now you know who to contact. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. We are now on our way back home. If we can get first through this traffic. With our new little baby. Yes. No more membrane for me. <laughs> be fun. Yeah. I'm, lot to you. I'm looking forward to taking this one on some adventures. Mm. It's gonna be some epic adventures. If you guys know a name for her, please comment below because we're trying to figure out what a cool name could be. Yeah, still no name, but yeah. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. But it should be a girl name. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. So we're still gonna be in San Jose for a little bit longer. We've got some admin that we need to be done. That needs to be done next week. And then we're gonna go to Nasara. And yeah, there's some very exciting news happening soon. So. Yeah. <laughs> Ready for the next one. Let's go. Let's go and have some lunch. I feel like you are literally about to fall asleep. <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye.